You know, as we all know, the Delta variant is making its way across America. And the way I look at it is if you haven't had the vaccine yet, this is a great opportunity for you to talk to your doctor about the pros and cons and the risk and benefits of taking the vaccine. On the other hand, I think we can all take a deep breath, a sigh of relief that the science shows us there's no reason to panic over the Delta variant. Here's the good news. Within two weeks, two thirds of all American adults will have had both vaccinations. 90% of seniors will have had both vaccinations. And the people that are left that haven't had the vaccination, we probably think half of those have natural immunity. And I would also add, by the way, that, that for our children, probably 40% or more uh, have had the vaccination as well. I want to reassure America that either natural immunity, having had the virus or vaccination, provide exceptional defense against the Delta variant and all variants as far as we know. In fact, they probably prevent over 95% of hospitalizations due to the Delta variant. And I think that's what's important to be following right now is the number of hospitalizations and deaths from the Delta variant, not necessarily just the number of people that are carrying, colonizing the virus right now. Look, the science has not changed and the clinical picture of America looks better every day. This is not the time to close down schools. It's not the time to close down our economy or insist on mask mandates. This is the time to believe in the science, to work with the science, that our vaccines and natural immunity, that they actually work, that you should have confidence in them, that we don't need masks if you've had the vaccine or if you have natural immunity. We don't need to shut things down. That is not the thing that we should do. Look, as far as I know, not one child under the age of 18 has died from COVID unless they had some type of a, of a serious health condition as well. On the other hand, we know that mask and closing schools without doubt is a cause of psychological and academic harm to our children. I believe it and trust our local school boards to make the right decision, not ordered by decree of politicians and bureaucrats here in Washington, D.C. Listen, this is not the time to panic. It's not the time for fear mongering either. That doesn't do anybody any good. Science is not on the side of the fear mongers. Here's the bottom line. If you haven't had the vaccine or if you haven't tested positive for the virus, go to your doctor, ask him for the antibody test, and then you and your doctor should decide the pros and cons, the risk and benefits, and if you want the vaccine. So thank you so much. I'm, I'm glad you, had, you all came out today, and we will try to answer some of your questions.